Right, we're starting on coordinate geometry now, which is a lovely unit of work that I'm sure you will all um, enjoy working through. So first of all, being able to find the distance between two points. So we have these two points A and B, and we want to work out the distance between them, or the length of the line that would join A to B. So we have the coordinates of the points 3, 2 and 6, 7, and we're finding the length of this line between them. Now this is quite a straightforward process, we just imagine a triangle there and we use Pythagoras to work out that hypotenuse, the distance. So we work out the difference between the x coordinates and the difference between the y coordinates to get the lengths of those um, horizontal and vertical side on the triangle. And then we use Pythagoras to work out what the hypotenuse would be. So in general terms, the distance between two points that are defined as x1, y1 and x2, y2 is the difference between the x coordinates squared plus the difference between the y coordinates squared and then square root the answer. Okay, midpoint, again a lovely easy one. So we want to find the midpoint between these two, two coordinates. That means we're looking at the line that joins them and we're wanting to work out the coordinate of halfway along it. We'll call it M. So M is going to be the X coordinate will be halfway between the X coordinates of the end point, so halfway between 2 and 8, that would be 5. And then halfway between the Y coordinates, so halfway between 3 and 7, it's also 5. So the coordinates of M are 5, 5. Now more formally, if we've got a line joining X1, Y1 and X2, Y2, then the midpoint will be found by doing the following. So you can just work out halfway between, but if you want this in formal terms, add the two x coordinates and divide by 2 so that you've got the average of them. Add the two y coordinates, divide by 2. And finally, gradient. You know from last year that's the change in y over the change in x. So in terms of the two coordinates, y1, uh, sorry, x1, y1, and x2, y2, then we are doing the change in y over the change in x. So find the difference in the y's and divide it by the difference in the x's. Parallel lines have equal gradients. So if that one had a gradient of two thirds, so would this one. And perpendicular lines, so lines that cross at right angles, they have the property that if they're perpendicular and you multiply the gradients together, the answer will be minus one. You can also write this as the gradient of the second line will be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the first line. So if that one had a gradient of 2 fifths, this one would have a gradient of negative 5 over 2.